Hi, this is Kanu Babu. In the last video, I discussed about the equals method in object class. In this video, we'll discuss about equals method in string class. So, actually, equals method in object class will compare the reference equality, whereas equals method in string class will compare the content equality. As I told that object class is the super class for all the classes, and the string class is the derived class. So, here, let us assume that there are uh, two classes are there. One is object class, other one is string class. In object class, we are having a predefined virtual method that is equals method, and in string class, we are having a overridden method that is equals method. These both the classes was given by Microsoft only. Here, it is not required for the programmer to write these classes explicitly. But here, there is a lot um, confusion. Is that everyone will confuse um, uh, the difference between the equals method in object class and equals method in the string class? So here, you don't confuse. The equals method in the object class will compare the objects based on reference. The equals method in the string class will compare the objects based on the content. So here, we already discussed in the last video about equals method in object class. Here, a single object is referenced by two references, a1 and a2. If uh, now this equals method will return true because these two references are uh, comparing with same object. But uh, in the string class, the equals method is overridden. Let us assume this is one string object, another string object, and here you have some s1 reference variable, here s2 reference variable. Is it clear? Now, the content of these two objects must be what? Same. That will check by equals method in string class. Let us prove this one practically by writing some program. So, here I will declare one namespace using system. And here I will declare a class. The name of the class I will give as A. As this class extending from which class? Object class. And here I will declare the main method, static void main method. Is it clear? So, here I will write uh, string string s is equals to I will give some value like abc and here I will declare one more variable string s1 is equals to abc. What is the meaning of this actually? String is also a class. If you observe clearly, string is a sealed class. Is it clear? So whenever you declare this statement, here an object is created. If an object is created, in that object a value is stored. What is the value? ABC. And this object is referred with what? The reference variable that is S. In the second statement, here one more object is created and the value that is stored is what? ABC. And the reference variable is S1. Is it clear? Now, the equals method actually in the uh, under the string class the equals method in object class was overridden in string class now the equals method in the string class is used to compare the contents of the objects here if you observe clear the content that is available is abc here and the content that is available in this object is also what abc so if i write the statement like this if i write the statement bull a is equals to s dot equals of s1 it will return true console dot write line of a because the contents of both the objects are what same it means that i am telling the equals method was overridden under which class string class somewhere you can see equals method is available it was overridden within the string class so here you don't confuse what i am telling here is equals method in object class will compare the reference equality it, it will compare the objects uh, based on the reference. Uh, equals method in string class will compare the objects based on the content. Similarly, if you write bull b is equals to s double equals to s1. So here console dot write line of b. So here both will compare the objects based on the content. So it will return true. I hope you understood. So for more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.